All right, here at Carlton Woods Golf Club, as we approach the beginning, what's well, going to be a big week here in the Woodlands area, the uh, Chevron Championship uh, here in town. Pleasure to be joined by uh, Morgan Pressel, longtime L LPGA player, now a member of the broadcast team for NBC. Welcome to the area. It's a first for everybody getting this tournament of this magnitude here. It's kind of an exciting time. Yeah, thanks. I'm excited to be here. I think that there has been a, a lot of attention in the run-up to this event. Of course, changing, moving from the desert where it was for 50 years to a new home. But I think that really just gives a new opportunity to continue to elevate the event, make it really something even yeah. more extra special than it already was in the desert. I know that Chevron's really committed to that. I've been part of the Player Advisory Council as on the player side to how Chevron just really shows Chevron's commitment to trying yeah. to make this special for the fans, special for the community and, and the things that they're doing to give back here locally in Houston is really special as well. It made big news uh, because as you mentioned, 51 years, I think the home had been in California. Uh, change is, is difficult sometimes, but mm -hmm. the way Chevron has stepped up, there's been a lot of excitement of, of the newness of this tournament and what, what fans are going to expect and, of course, players as well with the new course. Yeah, I, I think change, like you said, change is hard. People don't like change. A and mm -hmm. when you do get into that routine, sometimes things can actually tend to get a little stale. So this could be just what the event needs to really spice things up, come here, new venue. I know the players are really excited to get out on this golf course, learn a new venue, kind of levels the playing fields. You know, yeah. I, I knew that golf course in the desert, like the back of my hand, <laughs> I played it so many times. So players this week really spending these first few days to, to really learn the golf course, learn all the nuances. You got to study it quickly and it's a major. So it already has that extra mm -hmm. intensity in it and, and trying to learn a new golf course. It, adds to that challenge but I think it's going to be a fun golf course to play what I've seen uh, it's definitely a second shot golf course the players have told me that it's really long which I think plays into the hands of some of the longer ball strikers on tour um, and is a little wet with maybe a little bit more rain expected yeah. so it could get even a little bit longer but it's just I think it's going to be a fun golf course to play it's fairly generous off the tee the greens are really fast as always majors comes down to who makes the most putts and mm -hmm. you know when I won in 2007, I remember the putts that I made. Those were the most memorable shots to me, and those really are the most important ones coming down the stretch. I was going to ask you that. Uh, you, you have, you are a former champion of this event in 07. What did that, that you, you won a lot, you competed at a very high level throughout your career, but what is, what's the win in that tournament now bringing it here? What did that mean? Is that one of the great memories when you look back at your career? Oh, definitely. I mean, winning a major championship, certainly one of such prestige. And then, you know, mm -hmm. last night I had the opportunity, even, even though some travel issues tried to thwart my opportunity to come to the past champions dinner, to be in that room last night, a very special to be part uh, mm -hmm. of that with that team, so to speak, these past champions of the over 50 year history here of this event. And uh, I am definitely the highlight of my career. What, uh, when you look at the LPGA Tour right now, how about the state of the tour and the talent that you get to see now from the booth? Uh, where does it stand right now as far as the young talent coming up as well, uh, the state of the, the, tour, the tour in general right now? Well, I think the competition is really intense, and I think that's it, it, it elevates everybody's game. When the competition level is so high, you have to work that much harder, even to just maintain. I think a lot of these players who mm -hmm. ha have been on top of their game for a long time are noticing the push from the youngsters. And, and look <laughs> at this season so far. We've had six tournaments on the LPGA Tour. Three have been won by first-time winners. Wow. Uh, so that shows a lot of the youth and the strength in the youth on this tour. But also, we have some really experienced players. You have Nelly Korda. You have Lexi Thompson, Jin Young Ko, Minji Lee. So many uh, just true champions of the game that are out here looking to lift this trophy. I want to ask you too, because technology always changes too, from when you were playing to now, it's constantly being upgraded and ramped up from, from drivers to whatever. The equipment aspect of this game never changes, does it? No, and, and I, think that, I think that there's a balance. And maybe that's me more of a traditionalist, or, you know, but mm -hmm. we, there are launch monitors and there are ways that you can track just about everything that happens on the golf course and practice in different conditions. And yes, that can be very helpful in preparation. Mm -hmm. But when you get under pressure, I think golf, you have to be more of an artist. So I think the best players really figure out how to marry the information that they get from technology with mm -hmm their just artistic ability to get the ball in the hole because you don't always have your best game you don't always have a launch monitor perfect video golf swing right. 
you have to get it done under pressure. And I think that we see that from the best players in the world, that true balance. Lastly, uh, the tournament will be on Saturday and Sunday on KPRC2, NBC here in Houston. Uh, from your vantage point in the booth, walk me through uh, looking at the game from that perspective and what it's meant to you to step into that role on the broadcasting side of things. Yeah, it's been fun. It's kind of a little bit learning on the fly, yeah. <laughs> trying to figure it out as I go. But I've really enjoyed uh, being part of the team with NBC Sports. Uh, it, it really is quite the family. They've been helpful to me as mm -hmm. the as the rookie stepping in and, and um, trying to figure it all out. I am a fan of golf. I always have been. I love watching golf on television. Uh, I don't actually watch a lot of TV, but you mm -hmm. can usually find golf on in my house. Um, <laughs> so just to learn the television side, learn all the nuances, how hard, how all the hard work that goes in to bringing this production to your television set and to the viewers at home, making it as interesting as possible as we can to just add to what is already being shown in the tremendous golf. It's been a lot of fun to see. Mm -hmm. A little bit also from my perspective as an assistant Solheim Cup captain, I'm paying a little bit more attention to some of the American and European players. Yeah. Uh, and I get have a little bit of a bird's eye look on, bird's eye view look on that. What, what's that role gonna be like for you? It's fun, it just, yeah. it, it's been great so far. You know, we've had really gearing up for Spain at the end of September, which mm -hmm. uh, is gonna be fabulous. Solheim Cup, uh, I've, had the opportunity to play on six teams and wow. just the coolest experiences being part of a team transitioning from an individual sport and now to be on the coaching side basically mm -hmm. the coaching staff we're a different and, hat a little bit it's you? very different but it's a lot of fun and and stacy lewis our captain has really uh done an incredible job spearheading trying to make sure we have the best cohesive team once we get to spain all right well welcome to the yeah. houston area looking forward to the broadcast and uh nbc sports will have it covered uh, throughout the week Chevron Championships here at Carlton Woods. Morgan, thanks for the time. Thanks, Randy. Appreciate it.